welcome to the 2023 Adidas Atlanta City Games. We are here in Atlanta, running City USA. And we're down in Centennial Olympic Park, where in 1996, the Olympics were held. You can see the backdrop, look at that. The Ferris wheel, the Olympic rings. We have so many athletes in this awesome park right now that have been competing today and getting to ready. Let's give them here some applause. All right. Another international visitor in lane three from Great Britain and Northern Ireland, 26-year-old spr British sprinter, O.G. Odeboran. In lane three, he is known as a man who can sprint. From the country we know as TTO, Trinidad and Tobago, the 29-year-old 2022 World Indoor Champion is Jareem Richards. Come on, let Jareem hear you. In lane four, looking at this long track in front of him is a 28-year-old American, the 13-time MVC champion for Northern Ira, over 60 meters, 100 meters, and 200 meters. It's Brandon Carnes. And rounding out the field is this 31-year-old American, an experienced veteran finalist at the 2020 U.S. Indoor Championships, over 60 meters. Please welcome Chris Royster. You have to judge your effort very carefully. 150, it's that in-between territory. How hard do you go over the first 50? How hard do you hit it through 100? This is, for many of these fellas, this is a very, very tough one. And for several of them, it's a totally new event. Brandon Carnes and Chris Royster left a picture. The two lanes left a picture. I've never run this before. But watch Doreen Richards of Trinidad and Tobago. World Indoor 400 meter champion last year. Commonwealth Games champion last year as well. The uh, Trinidad and Tobago man in the center. Going really well on the uh, right of picture. Amir Webb at the moment. Amir Webb. But also going really strongly, Brandon Carnes. Brandon Carnes in the black, second to left. Looks like he's leading to me, but here comes Richards unfolding those long 400 meter runners' legs, and he takes it by about half a meter. 1482. Well, that is very close to his lifetime best of 14.75. If that time is confirmed, 1483 it is for Jareem Richards. Chris Royster was not far behind in second place, 1489. Remember, these are not qualifying heats. There are two races, the uh, B race and the A race coming up. Brandon Kahn's 1497, the first three under 15 seconds. But uh, Jareem Richards using the full 150 to take the win. That's exactly right. He used that full 150. His 200 meter PR is 1980. He used that endurance that he has over half the track outdoors. And he looked really smooth in the last 50 meters here. Down to UT, Birmingham, yeah. UK. And uh, he is a super pleasant fella. Aha, uh -huh. look at that. Great performer too, and that time, you know, 1483. Yeah, he looked good. I mean, he just looked small. I, when he was in the starting block, so did you see his hips come up? His hips were really high, he had a great start. Chris Royster and Brandon Carnes both went on the 15 seconds as well. Wow. That's great running from the three of them. Uh, how will that compare with the times of the guys in the A final, which is coming up next? And that is the big race. Omin Yala, Noah Lyles, Arian Knight, Nathaniel Mitchell-Blake. It is a super packed with talent. A race coming up very shortly. And 150 meters final. Oscar territory if he, <laughs> if he was under stress. Over to Lewis. All right, everybody, we are close to starting our final event of the night. And I'm predicting this is going to be the fireworks before the fireworks right now in this men's 150 meter dash. In lane one from Great Britain. In lane one from Great Britain, the two-time silver medalist from the European Championships. Please welcome Nathaniel Mitchell Blake. He'll be running out of lane four, just 19 years of age, just had a birthday recently. The bronze medalist at the 2022 World Championships, fourth at the Tokyo Olympic Games. Please welcome Arian Knighton.
In lane five, representing Jamaica, the 2017 World Under-18 Champion over 400 meters, it's Antonio Watson. This next athlete in lane two is a 2022 African Champion over 100 meters from Kenya, Ferdinand Omanyala. And our final athlete tonight, the two-time world champion and American record holder at 200 meters, 300 meters indoor, the ultimate entertainer, a man of fashion, art, and all things eclectic, and he's hoping to do something special for you tonight, and he's already down the track, American Noah Lyles! start of this 150 the very far end of this blue track just so you can mark your cards the world record by Usain Bolt 14.35 but this is more about the big clash I think between Noah Lyles the uh, third fastest man in history at 200 meters and Arian Knight the pretender to the throne just 19 years old bronze medalist to the world championships last year over 200 meters and then the fifth fastest man in history over 200 meters. Lyles and Knight, can anybody get in? We expect the action. Well, so much competition between Knight and Lyles last year on the track at Nationals, at the U.S. Nationals. There's lots of hype between how these two will start this outdoor season together. Look at them right there, showing again respect for each other, wanting to run fast. Yes. Well, no lies. Do you remember, I remember calling him setting a world best for 300 in Albuquerque about five years ago. And I remember thinking then, this guy, and he was so much younger than this guy, he's still only 25. He was, he was either 20 or 21. He's going to be so special at 200 meters. The strength to run 300 and set a world best indoors. And sure enough, he has become very, very special. The second fastest man in history at 200 meters. And then dropping down indoors this year, really working on his 60. Third fastest, I should say, actually. No lines, of course. Behind uh, the great Usain Bolt's world record. So to their blocks then, Ferdinand Omenyala of South Af of uh, Kenya. Commonwealth champion, semi-finals of the World Championships last year when he arrived late in Eugene. Couldn't give a decent account of himself, but Mitchell Blake in one, Omanyala two, Lyles in three in the centre, Knighton in four, second to left, and Watson to the left of picture as they get underway. Really good start from Omanyala, he knew the Kenyan would put the rest of them under pressure. Omanyala second to right, still leading at the moment, they're coming back in the middle. Are they going to get there? 150, a tough distance, and here comes Noel Lyles. He turns on the burners and pulls it on, wins by three metres. 14.56 for no Lyles. And that, for Noah Lyles, is a new personal best. 14.69 was his PR. Wow. <laughs> oh, Tim, that is amazing. I was a little worried. I'm going to say that. I was a little worried. Omen Yala looked great. And so did Knighton, but Lyles showed his composure and really poured it on those final meters. And look at this. He is pumped. He is excited. Look out, everyone. We are going to have a fun spring and summer. That is the third fastest time in history. Noah Lyles leapfrogs Walter Dix of the USA. Into th that was awesome. Watch it here. Here it is again. Well, I'll tell you what. That's just what um, Noah Lyles needed. It was Omen Yala taking him on over the first 70 or 80. And Lyles, the, the 200-meter runner's strength, came to its... Uh, came into force over the last 30 meters or so and he pulled away by a big big margin 1456 to 1485 that is a three meter gap and Omen Yala, he got out hard you can see him there in lane two and he set a new african record tonight beating that by 0.1 seconds 1499 was the old one 1489 tonight but it was all noah lyles in the last 50 meters he showed his strength his speed his composure Ladies and gentlemen, we just witnessed one of the greatest races ever.
My mouth's so dry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got two fast gentlemen with me right now, Mr. Noah Lyles. Noah, Noah, you're one of my favorite athletes to cover. You bring the entertainment. You bring the, you want all the smoke, you bring the fashion, you break records, the list goes on. Why do you put so much into this sport? Because if I don't, who will? Yep, that's a fact, that's a fact. So, you know it's a lot of 1v1 things going on, on on the internet, so if you could pick somebody to do a 1v1 with, who would you pick? Anybody and everybody. Anybody? I don't believe I got an opponent. Cause okay. they always, they gonna win, but when I lose, you ain't never gonna beat me again. Okay, y'all heard him. Well, congratulations on your win today and looking more forward to you in the future, okay? Appreciate it. Definitely. So, Mr. Ferdinand O'Mala, first of all. They came out here for you. Now, we talked about this African record that you just broke yesterday. We just talked about this and you came out here and did it. Like, just talk about what's on your mind. Um, the main target was just to come and run fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got out of the blocks well and just to maintain the form. And it's an African record, so we just hope that we get other races like this again. So you gotta say something nice. You gotta say something nice to these people out here. They saw you so much love. Say something nice to the people that's out here supporting you. Thank you so much uh, for coming to support me. I promise you a very fabulous year this year. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. What an incredible race. Noah Lyles and Mr. Ferdinand Omamiala. Tyson Gay running his time back in 2010 on a, a street track in Manchester, UK. Bolts winning time. The previous year, his world record, 2009, on the streets of uh, Manchester in the north of England. But Noah Lyles doing it here in Atlanta, confirming just how quick this track is. And that is just the seal of approval this event needed tonight. Noah Lyles running that quick. There it is, 14.56 for Noah Lyles. Third fastest time in history and hardly any wind to help him. Imagine a one and a half meter wind behind him. That would have come down a bit, that's 1450. It's Eric Knight, 1485 for the pretenders of the throne. That is some debut at 150, 1485. Ferdinand Dominiala, 1489.